When I'm doing this video sitting in the comfort of my home, hundreds of people are dying in Gaza. Hospitals in Gaza will run out of electricity within the next couple of hours. Palestinian people are suffering. Israel has cut off water. Water. That is, Israel has cut off the lifeline for the residents of Gaza. Israeli government warned the residents of Gaza and told them to move to the southern part of Gaza so that they could flatten everything in Gaza. Forget about humans. Even if you put a cat in a cage and a step on its throat, it will bite you. People of Gaza were pushed to their limits. How do you expect them to react? Yes, every terrorist act should be condemned. Every bite of a cat is not expected. Every time a cat scratches you, you need to think twice. Why did it do that? Insanity will prevail. Humanity will evaporate if you push a community to the brink of extinction. Israel has been carrying out genocidal killing of Palestinians for decades. Thank you, Mr. President Joe Biden, for not approving of a ground invasion of Gaza. Thank you, because you have realized the world is watching. It can't be politics all the time. It can't be votes all the time that you do your politics for. And I hope, Mr. President, you will not call yourself a non-Jew Zionist again, because Zionism has given a bad name to Jewish people. And I'm sure you know, many American Jews do not condone what Israel is doing. I'm not doubtful about a Palestine in future. I have always been a supporter of a two-state solution. But my question is, with the dwindling global influence of United States of America, with the rising unity of the Muslim countries, with too many enemies in that region, how long can Israel count on America to stand by it all the time, all the time? They started waning of American supremacy in that region. So for the sake of Israel's future, for the sake of humanity, for the sake of the Israeli people, Israel should stop all its genocidal activities because it has made too many enemies in that region. Too many. It will have to count on humanity, patience, love and tolerance of Arabs and Muslims and of their neighbors in future to survive as a country. It won't be able to rely on far off lands for their continued support to help it survive. So I'm doubtful about the survival of Israel as a state in future. I have no doubt that Palestine will be free. Absolutely no doubt.